Hey Leo, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I will be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of May 2021. I hope you're having a good spring so far. I'm feeling like uh, things are definitely shifting for you, Leo. Uh, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I will be using my white tarot deck. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I probably say that about all my decks, but uh, this one is a very, I like to say a very uh, uncomplicated deck. And so uh, I think it'll be really good for the May readings. I will also clarify with my Radiant Rider weight tarot deck and then Leo I will close out your reading with a secret language of color oracle card all right I think that is it for the intro <clears throat> excuse me uh, let's see let's go ahead and get started and see what shows up? Whoa. <laughs> For the sign of Leo. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of, okay, May 2021. All right. So, Leo, like I said, I was already picking up that things are going to be shifting for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. As we move into this new month of May, Leo, you're going to be getting a lot of support. However, uh, there, there could be some miscommunication. Now, especially as it relates to things, you know, financial, financial related. Uh, you really want to be very, very careful to what you agree to and what you accept in the first week of May. And it's not because it's not because things are not, you know, coming through for you. It's just that uh, you have to be really, really clear that you're getting exactly what it is you want. Sorry, I'm trying to fix these cards here. I'm, you know, I'm the Virgo, so it's gotta, <laughs> it's gotta, it's gotta look neat. It's gotta look somewhat organized okay <clears throat> so you know I can tell by the Knight of Cups here offers opportunities things are going to be gifted to you uh, things are going to be coming your way uh, the thing is is you have to be very very clear what it is that you want because sometimes we could say yes to something because it sounds good but again it's not really in alignment with what it is that we're trying to accomplish or you know our goals or, or, or it's not exactly what we want so you have to be very, very clear that you're not settling or you're not taking something in the moment, but at the same time, it's not something that's going to benefit you, uh, either in the short or long term. Okay, Leo, so pay attention to the offers that come your way because you're going to have to do a lot of uh, sifting. You're going to have to really vet, you know, the things that are coming to you and really examine each thing because, like I said, some things just may not jive with what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go. Uh, we also have the Ten of Swords here in the reverse. This is good. This means that you are healing and releasing, maybe overcoming some challenges that may have gotten in the way of your ability to make as much money as you uh, have set out to make, right? Sometimes that happens to all of us. You know, we get caught up in personal stuff, emotional stuff, and it can tend to take us, you know, a little off track. Uh, with our with our money goals and with our financial goals now luckily this is usually just something temporary but everybody has to take you know take a step back and kind of regroup and I feel like uh, once we get into the new month of May Leo that's kind of where you're at it's like you're like okay uh, you know I've dealt with some things and now I'm ready to come back full speed ahead the thing is is we've got the eight of Pentacles in the reverse which talks about there's gonna be a slowdown in the workflow now this doesn't mean work is going to stop altogether but it does mean that uh, you may not necessarily be as busy as you had expected or maybe as busy as you thought you were going to be for those of you that do have a job maybe you're kind of going into a slower season for your work 
uh, maybe in your business, you know, it's it's very cyclical and, and things have their high times and you have low times. Uh, but whatever the case may be, just understand that you probably will be able to take a little bit of a step back from your work. Next, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse, and that tells me there's going to be some disruption or some uh, maybe some postponements, delays, cancellations for anything travel related. Uh, for those of you who are not planning a trip, uh, this could indicate that there's going to be some changes in plans that are already kind of set. You know, maybe you had plans to visit friends on a certain day and then something happens and someone has to cancel. Uh, but whatever the case may be, it's not going to be anything serious. It's just going to be kind of a disappointment because you were really looking forward to this event. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going away forever. It's probably just going to be, like I said, postponed or delayed in some way. Next, we have the Seven of Cups. Now, this card is really kind of echoing what we said here. Pay attention to the offers that are coming up, especially anything money-related, because the things that show up, again, may not necessarily be in alignment with what it is that you're trying to do or what you're working towards. Now, the good thing is, is it's better to have a bunch of offers than none at all, but if none of them resonate with you, uh, don't feel obligated to say yes. Don't feel you know, pressure to accept something because you feel like you have to or you feel like, oh, well, you know, that was so nice of them to give me, you know, 20 pound bags of rice and you don't eat rice. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where you're just going to be selective with what you say yes to. And, um, you know, again, because we are focusing on money, success, work, business, all those things, you know, sometimes when we say yes to something, it really takes us away from the thing that we are trying to accomplish. Finally, we got the chariot card here. This is a scattered energy card. And when I say scattered energy, it means that, uh, you know, things are happening, but, but there's no real order to it. You know, there's, there's something going on here with work, and then you may have something here going on at home, and then you've got, you know, maybe stuff happening with your investments. Uh, you're going to have to really be selective with where you are putting your focus. Now, I'm feeling really wholeheartedly that uh, the thing that should be taking priority for you is the thing that's going to make you money the fastest, the quickest, the easiest. Uh, but sometimes that's not always, you know, feasible. Sometimes we have to manage stuff at home, and so we can't focus on the things that are going to pay us, you know, quickly or, you know, things that are going to pay us at all. But uh, do your best to focus on the money-making tasks that you can because those are really where you're going to find the greatest reward. However, I understand life happens, and sometimes things come up, and we can't do that. But um, this card here is telling me try your best, you know, weigh your options and see what what um you know what is going to be the most profitable use of your time <clears throat> okay leo let's continue on and see what else shows up for you as it relates to money wealth <laughs> finances prosperity, and abundance for the month of May 2021. All right, what do we need to know for the sign of Leo? All right, Leo, so as we move into the second week of May, I can tell you right away work is going to start to pick up. Uh, remember we talked about there was going to be a little bit of a slowdown here in the workflow? Well, that gets turned all kinds around <laughs> once we hit the second week of May. So uh, when you hit the second week of May, things are going to pick up again for you at work. I can see that happening very clearly. But let's start with the Page of Swords in the reverse. That is some unexpected news about something being discontinued, stopped, ended. Doesn't necessarily mean things, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's something bad or negative. It's just something unexpected. So, you know, when unexpected things just stop, a lot of times we're not prepared for it. And so sometimes, you know, we have to kind of scramble to either find something to replace it or figure out a way to get along without the thing. 
So when I have a feeling that's probably what's going to happen, uh, Leo, once we hit the second week of May, uh, something probably will unexpected, unexpectedly stop. Um, I'm feeling like it's going to be a temporary stop, but it's still going to be unexpected nonetheless. And so you're going to have to probably have to kind of figure out what you're going to do in the meantime until it you know, starts up again or until you find a replacement. Uh, next, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. This is sometimes emotional upset. Uh, something could be affecting you emotionally as it relates to your money. could be something in your personal life. It could also be uh, maybe something in your professional life as well. Uh, just pay attention to the emotional uh, ties that you have here. Now, sometimes things happen financially that really cause us to go on an emotional roller coaster. This happens a lot with investing, especially if you're building a business. Uh, for those of you who are entrepreneurs or business owners, you know how much of a, an emotional roller coaster that can be. So uh, just understand that your emotions are normal and you need to embrace them to some degree, but at the same time, don't let them control control, you know, the whole situation or your entire perspective. Next, we have the devil card in the reverse. The devil card in the reverse is always good because it means you're breaking free of unhealthy attachments. It means you're letting go of any type of unnecessary bondage, addictions, um, things that are holding you back. Sometimes it's things that are very unhealthy. And uh, here it's showing us the process that uh, you're actually releasing that, you're healing from that. Now I'm not surprised to see that this landed on the Ten of Swords also in reverse because that's another card of healing and release. So whatever it is, Leo, that you're doing to kind of get yourself uh, where you need to be, keep doing it because it's definitely working. We already talked about the Seven of Pentacles here. Next, we've got the King of Pentacles. This is another brilliant card because this is the card of financial literacy. It means that you are getting educated. You are learning about how to manage your money better, maybe how to invest your money. Maybe you're learning things about business so you can start your own business or grow the business that you currently have. And the nice thing about the King of Pentacles is that he makes really educated uh, moves, you know, nothing happens sporadically or, or without thought or without reasoning. So the King of Pentacles means that energy of really making some calculated moves, uh, really taking your time to think about all the options available to you before uh, making a decision. And I think this is a really good place to be because it's very empowering. And the other thing is it allows you to manage the risks of either business ownership, uh, maybe moving forward in your career, uh, you know, maybe taking chances or maybe just learning something new. So again, now the other thing about this, and I've talked about this in a couple of the readings this month, is that when I see the coin here, um, I've been doing a lot of readings for people who have been asking me about Bitcoin. Now I understand not everybody is on board with this, not everybody is interested. But for those of you who are curious about Bitcoin and maybe, um, you know, want to see if maybe a little bit of, you know, insight could come through with Bitcoin, I am picking up too that uh, probably in the second week of May, there could be some very exciting changes ahead as it relates to Bitcoin or maybe just cryptocurrency as a whole. Now, um, I'm not giving anyone financial advice. I am not a professional, um, you know, financial advisor or anything like that. But I am picking up that something good is going to be happening in the world of cryptocurrency probably around the second week of May. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean things are going to explode, but it doesn't necessarily mean things won't explode. Um, but the thing is, is it's something to kind of maybe just... Uh, keep in the back of your mind and let's all pay attention and see what happens. Finally, we've got the Page of Cups here. This is good news. This is an offer coming through. Uh, for those of you who are waiting to hear back on a job, looks like you're going to get an offer very, very soon or at least around this time in the month of May. Uh, for those of you who are maybe looking uh, to grow your business, maybe who have applied for loans, maybe um, some of you are looking to start investing, uh, looks like you're going to have a beautiful opportunity to do that. So I hope you are prepared and you are ready for it, Leo. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else shows up for you as it relates to 
money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of May 2021, what do we need to know for the sign of Leo? Okay. All right, Leo, as we move into the second half of May, um, get ready for, I want to say, a deconstruction. I want to say a disassembling. When I see the Tower card here, and I'm not feeling like this is any type of pending doom, so please don't think that, but I do feel like there's something that needs to be, it needs to be torn down because we need to start over, okay? Um, I'm feeling like this could be a business for some of you, but for the majority of you, I'm feeling like there's something going on in the, in, in the job situation not that nobody no nobody's getting fired nobody's you know i'm not saying that but i am saying that there is a a a disassembling there's there's a breaking down of something and now it's got to be redone because the original structure the original foundation the original plan and the original organization just was not stable and so now you can't uh, you get to the point to where you can't ignore the problems anymore and so things literally have to be taken you know torn apart so you can make some make some things happen you know move forward make things better make them stronger and i feel like that's happening here once we hit the second half of may now how does this affect your money well things are going to happen very quickly the eight of wands is the card of timing uh, when it's in the upright that's the card of speed it means things happen so quickly it's probably going to make your head spin uh, you're also going to be probably letting go or moving on from some things the five of cups means hey, uh, it's time to say goodbye. And even though you may not want to, uh, something has to be let go of. Something has to be moved away from. Now, I have a feeling all of these cards are connected. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like these three cards uh, are, are telling us that, hey, something needs to be redone and it needs to be redone quickly. And uh, in that process, there's going to be some things that you need to kind of uh, remove yourself from or you have to step away from or let go of um, but see then we have judgment here and judgment talks about the rebirth and talks about uh, rising from the ashes so to speak the other thing about the judgment card in the upright is it's a good decision right it may feel kind of scary a little you know off-putting but uh, when all is said and done it's really going to create a brand new life for you and the life is going to be one that you probably won't even recognize just within a few months from now. But, you know, it's that going through it and that sorting out of your feelings and, and what you're going to do and how you're going to spend your money, how you're going to make your money, how you're going to invest your money. All these things, you know, they need an overhaul is what I'm getting. And when all of that is taken care of, when all of that is settled, uh, like I said, your money situation is going to be in completely different. You know, it's definitely going to change for the better. Uh, you may not even recognize your own bank account, you know, within a few months from now. That's how powerful uh, I'm feeling this breakdown so we can break through a uh, situation is going on here. Next, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. This is the card about going against the grain. Uh, sometimes you have to upset people in order to do your own thing. Don't ever feel that you are confined uh, to... Uh, the rules that were set forth. I'm not telling anybody to break any laws, but at the same time, sometimes you have to be your own pioneer and start your own thing and maybe do things your own way. Um, I'm feeling like there's a lot of you who want to do things, but you feel like you're confined in a way, like you can't do it. Well, the Hierophant saying that you can, uh, the only thing that's holding you back is you because you think that it can't be done that way. And I'm not to say, you know, miracles don't happen or, or, or you can't get divine intervention. Of course, those things are possible. But I'm really feeling like you need to take that first step, Leo. You need to make the first move and take that action. Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Again, that's an unexpected turn of events. I'm not feeling like it's negative because it fell onto two very positive cards here. But I am seeing that there are going to be some things that come up that may be quite surprising. And because things that come up that are surprising, um, it creates an opportunity, an opportunity for you to make money or to grow your money. 
Now, we also have the Five of Swords here. Now, the Five of Swords means that uh, not everybody's going to be on board. Some people are going to turn their backs on you. Why? Because they're probably jealous. Maybe they're feeling threatened by what you're doing or what you're trying to do. Some people just don't have the mental capability to keep up with you. I don't want you to feel like you're doing something wrong, Leo. Uh, let people go. You know, let them deselect themselves so you can make room for the people who are supposed to be in your life. It's going to feel a little lonely. It's going to feel a little stressful. But when all is said and done, you're going to be just fine, okay? Trust that you are going to be actually better than fine. All right, Leo, let's continue on. And see what else shows up for you as it relates to money, wealth. Finances, prosperity, and abundance. We're in the month of May, 2021. All right, Leo, as we close out the month of May, uh, you're going to be very busy. And things are definitely going to probably, um, I'm seeing here that we've got a little bit of, it's like there's not enough uh, power behind uh, the movement. And I know that probably sounds random. So let me see if I can hopefully break this down. Uh, Nine of Wands in the reverse. That's a very encouraging card because that's literally the card of encouragement. Uh, things are going to be moving and things are happening and you have to remember to stay encouraged and you will. You will feel encouraged. Two of Cups uh, in the reverse talks about a divine separation. I already talked about that here, the Five of Cups. Remember I told you, you're going to have to make that decision to break away from something and it looks like you do it in a very gracious way here. So that's good, right? That's, that's really, really good because you're doing what you feel already needs to be done. Uh, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, that's um, working independently. A lot of you are solopreneurs. A lot of you are like maybe independent contractors or you work best by yourself. I see that continuing to bring in money and opportunity and abundance and prosperity for you as we close out the month of May, Leo. Now, here is where uh, I'm feeling like there's not enough power behind something. The Ace of Cups in the reverse talks about a new wonderful thing happening. However, it, it kind of falls flat because there wasn't enough uh, momentum to get it going, right? So it could be a new business, could be a new job, could be a new project, uh, maybe some new investments. It's like things, you know, it's, it's very exciting. Everybody's on board or maybe not. Um, and you're feeling really good and really positive about this. But for some reason, it just doesn't quite take off, okay? Now, sometimes, really, the only thing that gets in the way is timing. And I'm feeling like that's the case here. So if you're involved in something that has a lot of hype, but then it kind of falls flat, uh, don't discount it 100% just yet, okay? I'm picking up June. So if there is something that is going to happen, maybe it's just going to be pushed back another month. But um, at least this is kind of giving you a little bit of a heads up that if something kind of uh, doesn't necessarily explode in the way you thought, just sit on it for a little while because it could just need a little bit more time. Next, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. That means there's an opportunity coming and uh, you may have said no, but it looks like it's going to come back. It's one of those things where you, you said Mm, I'm not interested. No, thank you. But then it shows up again, and now you're reconsidering. It's that type of a situation. So maybe some of you have turned down jobs, and you're like, mm, I, I, I don't think I want that job. But now you're like, oh, you know, maybe I can do this on the weekends and make some extra money. Or, or you know, now, uh, you know, that opportunity sounds exciting. I might want to look into it. It's one of those things where you're going to have to reconsider a prior offer, and it could be better this time around. Finally, we got the Four of Swords. That's the card of being proactive. You're going to be very, very busy. You're going to be taking a lot of actions, doing a lot of tasks, uh, really keeping yourself on top of the game here. The Four of Swords means you're not sitting back being lazy. You are definitely 
doing, 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 grinding, 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 hustling, hustling, hustling. And uh, it's going to pay off. You know, it's definitely going to pay off for you. I think this is a new opportunity for you to challenge yourself. And it's also going to create some additional streams of income. And I know a lot of you are working towards that. And it looks like it's probably going to start taking shape uh, once we close out the month of May. So Leo, I hope you uh, are ready because your May is very, very interesting. And the other thing about uh, the energy of May for you, Leo, is that it just tells me there's a lot of, um, I mean, I know we talked about shifts, but it's just a lot of like uh, the technical part of it. It's, it's you doing the work, getting in there, uh, fulfilling, you know, the things that need to be done, handling your responsibilities and all that type of stuff. All right, Leo, let's see. Oh, I got two cards for you. All right, we're going to go with it. This is the Secret Language of Color Oracle cards. You have Cyan, which is Build Your Confidence, and then you have Bronze, with, which is Strengthen Your Body, cards number 14 and 35 beautiful cards if you can see the colors here and uh, yeah build your confidence i definitely feel that that resonates with this with this reading and then the strength in your body very very interesting because you know so many of us are focused on health because of current events and i think this is an excellent reminder all right leo i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it was helpful uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, observations, please drop them down below. And I want to thank you for spending this time with me. We'll do it all again next month.